Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at The Medicine Bag by Virginia Driving Hawk Snave. This is a story about generations and the passing along of traditions. It also deals with how we as individuals view and interact with people in an older generation and how people in an older generation view and act with the younger generation. So it's all about this generational interconnections. Um, as you're reading, I'm going to be um, having you highlight some things. So let me go ahead and show you what I need you to highlight. So first of all, we're going to go down and we're going to highlight on um, paragraph 12, what you see on the screen. And then I need you to also highlight what you see in paragraph 13. The point of these highlights, and this is what you'll be kind of writing out to the side about these highlights, is looking at how the narrator reacts to the arrival of grandfather. And we're going to go down a little bit further, and we're going to look at how the sister Cheryl reacts to the arrival of grandfather. And I want you to compare their different reactions. But more importantly, I want you to think and talk about and know why there are those different reactions. What is their inner driving conflict or thought process that causes them to react the way they do? Um, and go down to paragraph 18 and 19 and 20. And if you would highlight those pieces to get Cheryl's reaction to grandpa. Okay. All right, we're going to be moving on a little bit, and we're going to go down here to paragraph 31 and 32, okay, if you go back to paragraph 31 and 32, and the pieces that we're looking at annotating here is just basically looking at the difficulty of grandfather's journey, you know, and just looking at what's going on with him. And we want to talk, think about why provide so much detail about this journey? What's important about the journey that she would, the author would be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about this and detailing every step of the way. So you kind of want to think about that and think about what grandfather's mindset is as he is performing this journey and think about why this journey is important to him. All right, then I need you to go to paragraph 50 and 51. And we're going to highlight these pieces. And for these, these are going to describe grandpa's actions, okay? And these are really going to talk about his character. So with these pieces of highlights. We're looking at grandfather, grandfather's character, and you're going to get that by looking at how he reacts to, you know, the, the, the narrator's friends and how he reacts to the narrator. So we're looking at grandfather's characters, okay? And it's like revealing something about the grandfather. Be thinking about on this part, why does the author choose to have the readers learn more about grandpa at the same time Martin does? So why do you think it's important for the reader and Martin, the narrator, to tell, to find things out at the same time? Um, now we're going to move down and we're going to go to paragraph 66. Okay, we're going to highlight these areas. Um, and basically here in paragraph 66, this is describing um, Iron Shell's experiences and well, what he went through. And what I really want you to think about here is what are you getting, what's being revealed to you when you look at this? What are you learning, not just about Iron Shell, but about people in general? What's going on? Um, and then... Think about this. This part right here, what does that tell us about destiny and belief? 
What is grandpa's belief in destiny? What is grandpa's belief in fate based upon this right here? Okay. Um, we'll be answering some questions over this, but this is going to take us a couple of days to read and talk about. So I plan on taking about two to three days going over this piece. Do you have any, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.